What's up, Baby Doge Army? We got some good news inside of Baby Doge today. We have some good growth going on and yeah, lots of movements going on. So we're going to talk about this today. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the chart prime link in the description. Very good indicators here. And if you want to be part of the Crypto Millionaires Trading Group, check out the Patreon link in the description. But we're going to go ahead and talk about this movement that we've been having in Baby Doge. Huge movement, okay? We've been doing numbers inside of Baby Doge recently, which is pretty cool because we're up 7.9% in the last 24 hours here with Baby Doge. And that's at pretty much 8Z11. And if you look over here, you can see Bitcoin is also up at 30K now. Now, remember, I said it personally, I don't believe Bitcoin can get past 31K. We have major resistance at 31K for Bitcoin. But... That does not mean that I won't, you know, accept if it does. So if it does, I mean, that's all good. But right now, I still believe we're going to get rejected over here at the, you know, at the 31K area. That's just what I believe personally. But, you know, this is more so on Baby Doge. It does matter with Bitcoin, though, because if Bitcoin keeps pumping, Baby Doge is going to keep pumping as well. So we'll see. Um, we'll see if we can actually pass this resistance up here at 31K for Bitcoin. But uh, moving on from that, though, with baby doge you can see now we're trying to pass this fibonacci up here over here at 8z11 but we're kind of getting rejected a little bit here you can see we're getting slightly rejected at this level so hopefully we can actually pass this and you know raise this up a little bit higher we're getting rejected at this um fibonacci here we're also getting rejected here with these momentum wave bands it's showing us now that we might be going down for a little bit of a downtrend maybe but there's a possibility that we can rise higher from there. Now, I could use the RSI, but unfortunately, Baby Doge doesn't have enough um, data for the RSI. It doesn't have enough volume for the RSI to work. So it has to have a certain amount of volume. If you look over here, the volume for Baby Doge is only $1.3 million. You can even see Chart Prime looks much different. The indicators here, you can see the black marks because there's just not, a much, uh, not enough volume to really tell what exactly is going to happen here. That's why when you look at Bitcoin, it's much more accurate with the charts here with um where it's going so it's a little bit harder to read baby doge that's what makes bitcoin easier to read because it has more volume and it has more actual patterns baby doge can be sporadic at times you know just be where you know people could just be randomly buying a whole bunch like a whale can just drop a bunch and then boom like then it changes the price whereas a whale and bitcoin really can't change the prices by themselves so there's a lot of stuff going on here but yeah what i'm seeing here with the prices what baby doge with us getting rejected we do have that possibility to trace back down to 9z9 if bitcoin is getting rejected at 31k so if bitcoin gets rejected here at 31k then what we're going to end up seeing is baby doge you know going down to 9z9 if it gets rejected so that's what we got to watch out for hopefully i guess um well i'm saying hopefully it does get rejected <laughs> but that's just me personally. But if you look at the RSI here for Bitcoin, you can see how it's crossing here now on the RSI. And it looks like it's still curving downwards here now. So we're having a cross on the RSI and we're probably going to end up curving downwards because of that. And then we'll probably end up going back up after that. But yeah, it looks like we're um, nearing the end of this pump here for Bitcoin. So I do believe it's going to get rejected here. And like typically with the RSI, if it's going down, you know, we're going to have some sales. So that's what I think is about to happen here with Bitcoin, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, moving on from all the prices and technicals and stuff like that, um, we do have you know good stuff going on with the prices. You know everything's good. Eleven percent in the last seven days for Bitcoin. We got a bunch inside of Baby Doge about eleven percent in the last seven days. So we're doing just as good as Bitcoin here. But um, as in for holders, we're also getting some more holders now. Two weeks ago, we had 1,772,697 holders. Now we have 1,774,019 holders. So we got a little over 3,000 holders inside of, well, yeah, we got about 3,300 holders inside of the last two weeks. So that's pretty good. Very good, actually. Um, and also, this is our weekly recap for All Stuff Baby Doge which is really a lot of AI stuff. You know, they've really been pushing heavy on the AI stuff. If you look at the Baby Doge Twitter, like they're really going hard on AI. It's all they're posting about is Baby Doge AI, Baby Doge AI. <laughs> what is this? Uh, well, that's the farm, but this is Baby Doge AI. Uh, this is the donation video. Shout out to them for all the good they're doing here with donating and uh, getting these dogs off the farm. But yeah, they're doing a lot there for them. But what comes after? Baby Doge AI. You got more 
Baby Doge AI here, Baby Doge AI, every other post, Baby Doge AI, Baby Doge AI. So yeah, they're really focusing on Baby Doge AI. And then I mentioned Baby Doge AI. So yeah, they're really focusing on this. So I think this this could be good. You know, it could be good with their NFTs. Baby Doge NFTs might be hot during the next bull market. I don't know if NFTs are in general. And in general, I really don't like NFTs. I don't care for them. But Baby Doge AI can definitely work for NFTs. But you know, everyone has their different opinions on NFTs. But this is my personal opinion. But yeah, we burned a lot of tokens since uh, the last week. So $206 million worth of tokens total ha- that we have burned here now. 213 quadrillion. Total burned on burn portal. Burn portal 87 uh, over there, 87 trillion. And then we have our total followers on Twitter at 2,700 or 2,007,275. So that's a lot. Um, Baby Dose featured by Carbon Browser. Baby Dose AI contest enter for a chance to win $250. Convo feature top BNB chain projects by greatest social volume. Feature by Akita Network as top ETH project via social media, social following. It's kind of weird. That were the top one of the top ETH projects because you know we we only bridged over there. Like they're looking at our Binance activity and equating that to our ETH activity. Like no, our ETH activity has nothing to do with our Binance activity. You can't really do that because you know we're not native ETH coins, so you can't really say that one. So yeah, I would say we could take that one off because yeah, we we're not really an ETH project like that. But we do have a bridge going over to ETH. Not many people do use the ETH side of the project, so it is whatever. But um, yeah, we, as you can see, we've had a lot of stuff that we've done here over the week for Baby Doge. So shout out to them. Um, a lot of Binance Smart Chain marketing. Um, you can see this featured by Binance Smart Chain Daily as the largest social following meme token on Twitter. So that's huge. Basic our BSC Daily um, featuring Baby Doge as number fourth most traded projects on BNB Chain. So a lot of promo here, a lot of promo. Um, the vintage pet rescue thing, crypto insight, second most mentioned highlighted meme token featured by Binance Smart Chain News, Dogs Rock sponsored farm. There's been a lot of stuff going on with Baby Doge, you know, Baby Doge, I guess you could say whether or not have they been crowned king. You know, there's a lot of people that would like to say otherwise. A lot of people would like to hate. A lot of people don't. But I'm seeing we do have more supporters than haters. So as a community, I think we're doing pretty good. So shout out to the Baby Doge Army. Shout out to the developers out there. We got to keep going in this direction. And we also got to steer Baby Doge Swap in the right direction as well. Because Baby Doge Swap, we can't just let it die out like this. We only have $2.55 million worth of liquidity. We only have $5,500 burned in the last 24 hours, which is pretty decent, actually. But the liquidity is not decent. This is not decent liquidity. This is not decent volume. We need this higher. It used to be way higher when we had all of the core farms that gave you Baby Doge rewards. But now we no longer have the core farms that give you Baby Doge rewards. Now all we have is Bateen Swap getting those rewards and then staking Bateen Swap. No one cares about those for the core farms. Those are cool for KYC farms. But they're not cool for core farms. What we need for core farms are stuff like BNB to Baby Doge, earning Baby Doge in return. We need stuff like uh, BNB to, let's say, Augie and then Baby Doge in return. Or Augie to Baby Doge and Augie in return, something like that. Or we could have like Ethereum to Baby Doge, Baby Doge in return. Doge to Baby Doge, Baby Doge in return. Um, you know, Litecoin to the Doge. <laughs> and then, you know, just random stuff like that. We just need core farms for solid projects and we need to earn our rewards in baby doge because the projects are so solid that they're just not going to go anywhere so they're always going to be there uh hopefully <laughs> and then we're also going to have getting their baby doge rewards hopefully baby doge will always be there as well but a lot of people in baby doge don't know anything about what team swap a lot of people in baby doge don't know anything about it at all so we need the core farms and earning baby doge we need solid core farms and we need to earn baby doge as rewards so yeah, that's what we need to do to make Baby Doe Swap great again. We need to build back better plan here for Baby Doe Swap. So yeah, make Baby Doe Swap great again. But yeah, that's pretty much what we need right now. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Still personally, I think we're going to continue to maybe drop a little bit here on our momentum wave bands. You can even see here that the prices are going down. When you're looking at the RSI, it shows that it should be dropping very soon. So we got to wait for that as well. But like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is a financial advice. But yeah, just uh, if you want to check out the chart prime link in the description, if you want to check out these automated trading indicators and um, let me know what you guys think about the technicals. Do you think that it's about to do this or do you think we're just going to continue to pump or do you think we're going to get rejected here? So let me know what you guys think about that. Hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, I'll be back with another video.